Hello. Our group consists of Lindsey Barnes and Rafael Mendoza. We are both junior mechanical engineers at Angelo State University. We chose to create an apparatus for watering a plant that would water itself when needed and cycle through a water source that would use 100% of the original water it was given. This is achieved through a humidity sensor that reads the humidity in the soil every 3,000 seconds, and if a value less than 670 is read by the sensor, the Arduino will turn on a pump that will water the plant within the pot. We chose this project because we thought it would be a good challenge for our coding skills and would be a practical fun build. Now I'll show you the necessary materials to recreate this build. You will need a temperature and humidity module, Arduino soil moisture sensor, analog sensor cable, tie point breadboard, breadboard jumper wires, female to male DuPont wires, USB cable, USB charging block, Elegoo Mega 2650 controller board, 10K potentiometer, 5 volt relay, Arduino Uno controller board, small submergible water pump with hose, water reservoir and a pot of sort. Our water reservoir was uh, previously a fish tank and the pot, as you can see on top, the white piece, that was 3D printed. And electrical component housing, also 3D printed. Uh, this is 3D printed by us for the custom use of being able to put all our electrical components within it. Next is the construction process. The first step in the construction process was to design the reservoir to hold water and the pot to hold the plant. This fish tank was used because it was just the right size for a potted house plant and would hold just enough water. Next, we needed a container that would suspend over the water reservoir, allowing water to be pumped upwards to water the plant and then drain the excess back down into the reservoir. We designed and 3D printed a box with holes in the bottom and ears on two sides that would slide over the sides of the tank. The box is designed to be big enough to hold the soil and a plant, but also allow a large amount of water to stay in the bottom of the tank so that you don't have to worry about refilling it for a while. The next step in designing the container was to design a housing to mount all of the electrical components. This housing was also 3D printed and designed so that internal electrical setup could be seen through a plexiglass window. Now we're ready for the actual measurement instruments. First, we hooked up the LCD screens to make sure they were working properly. Once we were able to print a message on the screens, we hooked up the temp and humidity sensor to the Elegoo Mega 2560 board and the soil sensor to the Arduino Uno. Here is the temperature and humidity sensor and the Mega 2560 board. And here is the soil sensor and the Arduino Uno. The code for these is written so that the temperature and the humidity gets checked every hour and the soil moisture gets checked every five hours. For the purpose of demonstration, the code is set to check the moisture every three seconds. The soil sensor is programmed to turn the pump on to water the plant once a certain value is measured. This was accomplished by using a relay that switches the pump on and off according to the sensor value. The relay is wired to the power supply for the pump. The next step are to connect the USB cable with a charging block to power the system and to connect a hose to supply the water to the plant soil. 
Holes were cut in the tubing to allow the water to drip into the soil versus flowing over the top. A cork was then hollowed out to use as a cap to plug the end of the hose. The final step was to attach the LCD screens to the outside of the plexiglass to be able to see them for easy monitoring. Now it's time for the demonstration. The pot is empty so that the water can be seen running when the pop, pop, pump turns on and off. Here, the soil sensor is immersed in a glass of water to simulate wet soil. Once the sensor is removed from the water, the code tells the sensor to check the moisture and the pump turns on. Once the sensor is placed back into the water, the pump turns off, simulating that the soil has gotten enough water. You got in my video. <laughs> Next is the conclusion. This is what the final product looks like. So what did we learn? First off, we learned that Sunny and OJ love Arduino projects. Secondly, we learned that to design a product, there are several steps that need to be followed, such as identifying a need, using your creativity, planning, testing, and improving. We also learned that selecting the proper measurement instruments is important for achieving certain results. And lastly, we learned a lot about Arduino coding and sensor wiring. Overall, this project was really fun and hopefully we get to do more like these in the future. Thank you.